Hi dear students, let's see this question that came in J Advance Paper 2 Physics in the year 2019. Uh, this was one of the very easy questions in the whole paper uh, from the topic of optics and uh, this was based on multiple choice correct scheme. Most of the students would have been simply thrilled to see this question because they have sim uh, easily collected some marks for themselves. Let's see what's happening over here. There are three cylinders made up of glass of refractive index 1.5. The actual depth of all the cylinders is 30 centimeters. The top surface of first cylinder is flat, whereas the top surface of the uh, second cylinder you can say is concave downwards. Uh, in the third case, it's concave upwards, right? The radii of curvature of these two surfaces is 3 meters. We have to comment upon the apparent depth of this point X in all the three cases. H1, H2, S3 has been called as the uh, apparent depth in all the three cases. Right now, I'm going to just write one formula. So, which is mu2 by v minus mu1 by u is equals to mu2 minus mu1 by r. We, we realize that this formula is for spherical uh, refraction. The, when, whenever refraction happens on the spherical uh, surface, then this formula can be used. But you can see that this is also a special case of uh, sphere in which radius is infinity. So, if you put r as infinity over here, you're going to get the same answer, right? So you could have gotten for this case by using the formula of apparent depth by real depth is equals to, you know, mu2 by mu1. That also you could have done. But I'm just writing one formula for all the three cases, okay? Now, from here, you can see mu2, which is 1, because it is going in, the array is going in air. Mu2 is the medium in which light goes after refraction. Mu1 is the medium from which light comes. So it is going in air in all the three cases so we can write this as 1 by v okay you can take this on the right side mu2 is again 1 minus mu1 is 1.5 for all the cases i will put value of r very shortly and this mu1 is 1.5 upon u is minus 30 for all the cases why are we putting minus sign it's pretty simple to see because uh, incident ray is going in the upper direction so and the object or the we can say point x is lying in the opposite direction with respect to the uh, refracting surface. Now, if you, uh, so this will become 1 by 20. Okay, so the, when let's, let me write this as, uh, this will become 0.5, minus 0.5 rather. So 1 upon 2R, okay. And uh, this will become minus 1 by 20. So this is 1 by B. Now for first case, we can put R equals to infinity. So H1 will become, uh, or we can say, 1 by h1 rather 1 by h1 will become minus 1 by 20 just don't look at minus sign minus sign just tells you that image will be formed on the opposite side as compared to the direction of the incident ray so minus sign just tells you that so if you want to find the magnitude you can say that image will be formed over here minus sign is just saying that since incident ray was going upwards so image will be formed on the opposite side so minus sign is indicating just that okay so we put r equals to infinity for the first case Okay, if you put r equals to minus 30, why do we put minus 30? Because again, the center of curvature of this surface is lying on this side, whereas incident ray is going in the upper direction. So with respect to this surface, we can say that center of curvature lies below, whereas incident ray is going upwards. So if you put, if you put uh, minus 30, minus 300 rather, not 30, because the uh, centi uh, 3 meters, so it will become 300 centimeters. So this will become minus 600. Okay, and uh, so this will become positive sign and this will be 1 by 20. So what do you, what we have done? We have put r equals to minus 300 in the second case. And similarly in the third case, if you put r s plus because center of curvature will lie above the refracting surface and ray is also going upwards. So this will become uh, minus minus 1 by 20. Okay, r is plus 300. Okay, now if you go back to options, first you have to talk about H2 and H1. So it is easy to see magnitude of 1 by h2 will be less than 1 by h1, right? Because it's you can see that uh, from here in this value, we are adding something. So overall, it is easy to see that, that this thing will be less than this magnitude wise. So 1 by h2 will be less than this, right? 1 by h2 will be less than this magnitude wise I'm talking about, okay? Not the value wise, magnitude wise, this will be less than this. And hence h2 will be more than h1, pretty simple to say, right? Similarly, again, if you see 1 by h3 
will be more than one by magnitude wise please remember i'm talking about magnitude so one by h3 will be more than one by h2 magnitude wise okay and hence h3 will be less than h2 okay so we can say and h3 will be less than h1 as well okay because if you see one by h3 is more than one by h1 magnitude wise okay magnitude wise one by h3 is more than one by h1 so h3 will be less than h1 magnitude wise so this will be the order h2 h1 h3 so h2 is greater than h1 and h2 is greater than h3 as well h3 greater than h1 this is wrong option b is wrong so this is wrong option let's talk about option c so we have to talk about the difference in the values of h2 and h1 h2 and h1 are the magnitudes be clear so if you want to say at actually if you let let me you know h2 h3 h1 are the magnitudes so you can make it positive sign so h2 h1 is actually 20 and h2 is just the magnitude of this if you, you know take it the take the reciprocal so h2 ka iska jo value magnitude aayega wo h2 hai remember this okay so now we can say that h1 is 20 tick if you talk about h2 so h2 is how much uh, this will be 30 by 600 so we can say that minus 29 by 600 to so 600 by 29 okay i am skipping the minus sign now so if you see this carefully this is we can write this as 580 by 29 plus 20 by 29 so if you take h2 by h2 minus h1 so this will become 20 by 29 now it is easy to see a 29 29 into uh, 29 by 20 by 29 ki value kiske aas pas aayegi uh, 0.7 se kam hoga ye value theek hai kyunki 36 ya 180 hota hai so 29 into 6 is 174 so 29 into 7 will exceed 200 which will be around 203 i guess hai na so this will be less than 0.7 and uh, we are being given 0.8 to 0 0.9 and hence this is also wrong so option a and d my dear friends will be the correct answer for this question i hope you would have understood that's all thank you